Hey YouTube and all my digital heathens out there, Jade here, and this is my first and probably only political cartoon. So right here was my original sketch idea, which was going to be Hillary and Donald Trump fighting like they're Godzilla and Mega Godzilla, but I didn't like the way it was turning out, so I redrew it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So I redrew it. And uh, what I did is I was looking through comic art and found a totally sweet picture of Godzilla and Mega Godzilla fighting. So I used that for the base inspiration because uh, I wanted to get the details right and make sure they looked like Godzilla, Mega Godzilla. And then I just penciled in uh, a Trump and Hillary face on top of them and then drew boobs on the uh, Mega Hillary Godzilla. So this idea uh, came up when I was talking to a friend of mine at uh, my day job, uh, Dinger, and he was uh, saying how awesome it would be to have uh, this kind of illustration because it's just like, you know, like the Godzilla and Mega Godzilla is what our political um, president, presidential race is this year, you know, it's like two candidates that no one really likes kind of destroying everything. Well, I can't really say that nobody likes them because I also work with a couple of Trump supporters and they really like Trump. It kind of goes, um, I guess it kind of goes like this, right? The people who are voting for Hillary are voting for Hillary because they don't like Trump and think he's kind of an idiot and a racist. But they don't really like her. No one's that I've talked to is like, yeah, Hillary, she's going to get the job done. Now, the Donald Trump supporters that I work with are like, I hate Hillary because she's a criminal. But I really like what Donald Trump says about the borders and bringing jobs back to America. It's, uh, man, it's something we can't even really talk about at work because everyone gets so mad. <laughs> you know, it's very... The lines are really divided, but it's uh, it's interesting to see who's going to win. Now, so far, the poll is at work is about 40, 50, 40% think that Trump's going to win and well, 50, 40, 60, and 60% 60 think that uh, Hillary's going to win if she doesn't get indicted. That's what they all say. Well, she's going to go to jail, so... You know, maybe Bernie will run for the Democrats. There's a lot of hope for that. A lot of uh, Bernie supporters. That are still still wanting Bernie to win. So about the drawing. Uh, what I did is I sketched this out with a number two pencil on, Brist on Bristol board. And then uh, did the fine line work with my new Japanese, I think these are Tombos, and they are kind of like uh, brush pens. These are hard nib brush pens. And they're really cool. I'm going to be getting some more of those. Uh, they take forever to get here. I order them on Amazon. And it's like, man, I don't know if they fly them in from Japan or what, but it takes like 15, 15 days for them to show up. Or so. All right, that's me ripping open the Pepsi uh, half rack here and getting a Pepsi. My voice gets dry when I, I do these and talk so much. Mm. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so it's real interesting um, the way this election is going this year. To be honest, I kind of like the idea of Donald Trump running just because he's not necessarily a politician, a career politician like Hillary is. And uh, I think that as a country, we could use more non-career politicians in politics. But that's not to say that, that I'm voting for the Donald. <clears throat> we just had Donald here in, uh, in Washington. He was in Everett at a rally. And the next day, one of the, the Trump supporters I work with had the, had the coolest pin. She uh, went and got at the, uh, the Trump rally. It was 
It said, vote. I'm voting for Donald. But it was a picture of Donald Duck. And so she's got that sitting at her computer station right now. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> oh, oh, that's my, uh, that's another Tombow Japanese brush pen, but it's double-sided. It's got like a, a fairly soft, fine tip and then like a big, sloppy brush tip on the other side. It's super, super nice. Man, it was like six bucks though. I'm gonna probably get some more of those because uh, I like I like using them to ink. So if anybody has any ideas and they uh, want to see me draw anything more political or political cartoons or our candidates as different kind of creatures, that would be cool. Uh, send me a comment, and I'm sure I will get it done before. The, uh, the election day. In fact, if there's anything you guys want to see me draw, I'd be more than happy to do it. Like I said, this one was uh, one my buddy Dinger wanted me to draw. And man, we were, we were talking about the idea. It was so funny. It was where, you know, uh, thinking how appropriate it is <laughs> to have these two guys as, you know, classic giant monsters. And when I was a kid, I used to love watching the Godzilla movies and the Mega Godzilla movies. You know, or Godzilla vs. Mantra, or... Man, there's just hundreds of them. There was a, a Chinese kid that lived down the street where I lived in uh, Seattle when I was going to grade school. And he was like... Uh, his name was Yen, and he was a Godzilla just maniac. So it would always be, you know, on a Saturday, you could always go over to Yen's house. Yen and Wen, he had a sister, and uh, hang out in their basement and watch Godzilla. His parents were from uh, from Hong Kong and did really well, so they had like a really big TV, and they were pretty well off. And so we'd go down there and watch uh, watch Godzilla movies once in a while. I kind of had to quit hanging out with uh, with Yen and Wen because my parents were getting pissed at them because there was during uh, segregation, so they were gonna bust me down to like the central district of Seattle. But because uh, Yen and Wen were Asian and not white, they could go to the school that was like two blocks from our house. So my parents put me in private school so I wouldn't get bust down. Uh, for segregation. But that was kind of a bummer because I really did like watching the Godzilla movies with those guys. And right here I'm trying to lay in like thicker black texture for uh, the Mega Hillary. You know, to kind of get like a metal effect. And I was doing this pretty quick. Because um, I didn't want to spend like, you know, a ton of time on this illustration. I just wanted to kind of get the... Uh, the iconic visual style down and I think I did a pretty good job on that that's using like the thicker brush on that Tombow which worked out real nice yeah I, I'm not you know Hillary's hair isn't that iconic unlike the Trump so I wasn't sure I did a very good job on hers but I really like the way he's got like the head flip or the hair flip going on in the front I did a pretty good job on that And I switched up to my other Japanese pen, so I really like the Japanese pens. I don't know what it is with uh, Japan and their pen technology, but man, they make really nice pens. So I ended up buying like Tombos and uh, Pentel pens for these new brush pens I've been getting. I'm kind of trying to get used to them because Inktober's coming up in a month and I want to. Uh, I want to participate in that, so I want to try to use these other pens. If 
I redraw this again, I think I'm gonna have them like breathing fire on each other, laser beaming each other. Or like uh, Mega Godzilla used to shoot like spikes out of his hand, or her hand in this case. So I might do that too. sinister so I had to work on their faces a little bit and thicken up those lines. Originally I wasn't going to color this, I was just going to do it all in black and white. But I thought I needed to add some color because uh, it wasn't really separating very well the two, the two bodies. Even though you know the textures are different with uh, the metal looking really black black lines and then his his scales another funny thing another guy I work with is talking this is more like the political commentary is uh, he's kind of excited because his parents or his, his in-laws hate Donald Trump so much that they're saying if Hillary doesn't win they're going to the wife is going to take a job in uh, in France or England and they're gonna move out of the country so he's kind of excited because he'll be like yeah I'll get like a house out of the deal because I'll get to live in their house while they're gone for four years or eight years or whatever it is alrighty so now I'm throwing in the grayscale for uh, the mega Hillary and those are my twin touch markers they're awesome Jill got me those for uh, my birthday this year. And I really like them, even though they don't have a brush tip like my Copics. Uh, the bullet tip that comes with them on the small side is still pretty nice. Those are Spectrum Noir markers, my other se second favorite. More Twin Touch. I'd like to get some more Twin Touch and then just do maybe some illustrations where I only use one kind of marker. But right now I don't have enough of them all to, uh, to do that. I think I only got like the 48 set and then like a grayscale set. Ooh, and then I was also, oh, like getting Donald's hair color right. Man, that was tough. You know, because it's kind of like a carroty, wispy kind of color. I like how their heads are like human human colored and then like the bodies aren't it's almost like uh you know like there's some kind of a uh, chimera type creature where their heads are just chopped off and thrown on the uh the monster bodies yeah if i had my website up i would probably make this a print because i like this illustration so much big area in the background I thought was too blank so I just started throwing like a cityscape but I didn't want to use any black lines because I wanted to seem like it was kind of in the distance and that's why uh, I just did it all in grayscale so anyways there it is. Um, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out. Until next time.